welcome to our very last Christmas video because next week is Christmas Day. Well, today we're going to be finding out about the last visitors that came to visit baby Jesus. Do you know who they might be? We're going to go to one of our friends to find out. We hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you soon. In the land was a king called Herod. Herod wanted to be the only king and did not want Jesus to be king. He called some wise men and asked them to tell him where the baby was. The wise men followed a star, a bright star shining in the east. It stopped over where Jesus was in Bethlehem. The wise men went inside and saw him lying in a manger. They bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. When they went to go home, God told them to go a different way so that Herod would not know where the baby Jesus was. Mary and Joseph returned home with the baby Jesus. Ah, oh, thanks Jess. I hope you were listening really carefully everybody because today I have got three hidden things, not in my box, but in this stocking. And they're all to do with the story. We're gonna see if we can guess what they are. Are you ready? Let's sing with me, okay? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What is the object hiding in the stocking? Okay, first one. Wow, it's really bright and um, very shiny and sparkly them all points on it and do you know what one clue is that the three wise men they followed this to find Jesus any ideas that's right it's a star now this star belongs on our Christmas tree that's where it lives do you have one on yours too if you see that star on the Christmas tree you can remember that journey that the wise men took to find Jesus and to worship and honor him Okay, you ready for the next one? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? 
What is the Yelp Jack hiding in the stocking? Oh, feels like it's something wrapped up. Can feel some fella tape on it. Oh, and some string around it. Any ideas? That's right, it's a present. Now, do you remember in the story, the three wise men, they took presents to Jesus. Also, did you know that the best present, the most amazing present that lasts forever, was sent to us that we remember at Christmas time? That was God sending Jesus to earth. I've got one more thing in my stocking. This one might be a little bit more tricky. Are you ready? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What is the object hiding in the stocking? Oh, something really soft. I think when you go to bed at night, you might lie your head on it. Any ideas? That's right, it's a pillow. Did you hear about a pillow in the story? Well, you might not have heard about a pillow, but we did hear about the wise men having a dream, didn't they? And they dreamt that they shouldn't go back to King Herod. And God spoke to them through that dream to keep Jesus safe. Just like God spoke to the wise men, he loves to speak to us now, he loves to speak to you now. And we can do something called chat and catch. You could tell him something, something you remember in the story maybe, and then ask him to speak to you too. He loves to talk to us. Right, have a wonderful Christmas. Bye. Hi everybody. Today we're making things with salt dough, which is an amazing crap. You will need salt, you will need flour, and you will need warm water. Now we used one cup of salt, and we used two cups of flour to begin with, and we used one cup of warm water, and we mixed it all together in this bowl, until it came together like a really nice dough. We had to add a bit more flour in ours, and you might need to too. Then once it's done, you can... What's this? Roll it. You can roll it. You can make fish shapes. You can make Christmas star shapes. You could even make a lovely candle holder to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. And when you're finished, you can, if you want to, Bake them in the oven on a really low heat for quite a long time until they're completely dry. And when they're cool, you can paint them. I'm gonna love Bye everyone! I'm gonna